What's up Ozones? Welcome to the Ozone and welcome to a cooking video. That's right, I decided to do this because I had the kitchen free and because it sounds like a lot of fun. It's gonna be very echoey in here, I'm very sorry about that. I don't know how good the mic quality is gonna be. But yes, today we are doing a FNAF cooking video. That's right, the FNAF cookbook is actually coming out in September of this year and we have previews of it already and there are multiple different recipes that have been shown but today we are going to be using all of these ingredients to cook Foxy's Pirate Plunder Bars and this one stood out to me probably because it's a dessert <laughs> Uh, and I am, I have a massive, like, sweet tooth. I, I, I have sweet teeth. I absolutely love dessert foods. So, um, let's go through the ingredients, I guess, and then see where that takes us. To make Foxy's Pirate Plunder Bar, we're gonna need 150 grams of syrup. It doesn't really specify which syrup, so I'm using maple syrup. 175 grams of smooth peanut butter. 120 grams of rice cereal, aka Rice Krispies, and then 200 grams of milk chocolate, 25 grams of the most exotic butters, and then for the topping, we have a mixture of things. It says mini marshmallows and coloured sprinkles, but I have white chocolate stars, some lovely rainbow sprinkles, and of course, the marshmallows, but they're like four times the size. Anyway, let's get cooking. Okay, so what is the first step. Grease an 8x8 inch square cake pan with butter or line with parchment paper. I don't think I have a cake pan or parchment paper. Actually, I was I was very wrong. The first step was actually to, to wash my hands. I've done that, don't worry. Hygiene is great. Oh, lovely. There's a little... Oh. Oh, look at that. That is beautiful. Oh, uh, I don't know how to do this. Do I do this the how to basic way? I guess it's it's content, right? <laughs> I mean, you know what they say, like the best artists are the ones that can paint with their fingers. And right now I'm painting the Mona Lisa. I think that's beautiful. I think I've done a fantastic job of that. It's a shame that's only step one. So the fun part about this is actually like, I don't have scales and I have no idea if this video is actually going to turn out well as, as in like, if I'm actually gonna get a final product. I'm just guesstimating, so this could go terribly wrong. So we got a saucepan. So the next thing we need to do is we need to get our syrup and we need to get our peanut butter and we need to get our rice cereal. So, this has 250 grams in it, um, so I guess I need, what is 150 divided by 250? That's going to be 3 over 5, so like 6, I need, I need like 6 tenths of this, right? I think that's about 6 tenths. I might have done the maths completely wrong. Let's just put more in. What does this even taste like? Oh, that tastes so good! Okay, so this has 320, so we need about half of this. Really? Half of this? Okay. <laughs> it doesn't even freaking work. Okay, I need to take this thing out. Oh, that looks unappetizing. That looks very unappetizing, actually. Whoa. Yeah, saucepans. We love saucepans. Um, yeah, that's enough. And what does, what does peanut butter taste like? I've never had peanut butter before. Can you believe it? That is gross. It, wait, that tastes like a peanut. Well, obviously, like, it's peanut butter. I did not think it would taste like nut. This is what we've got, and it looks like I peed in it and then proceeded to puke, but my puke has like, is, is like smooth. It's smooth, smooth peanut butter. So apparently this needs to go on a low heat and I don't really know what that means. So I'm just gonna put it on five. I don't even know if that's, if that's low. Like, is that, is that low? Oh, stir it and, until I have a smooth sauce, apparently. Okay, wait, 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 I need to stir it. I need to stir it, ah! Okay, here we go. Oh, that looks great. Look at that. Oh. Boy, we are eating good tonight. Oh my gosh. Look at that. It looks like a Milky Way. <laughs> oh, I'm 
am I even saying? It, there we go, that's nice and smooth. I think it's, is it warm? It's not even warm, I've just, I've made something. Look at this. Wait, it's not even on heat. Are you kidding me? Okay, there we go. It should be on six now. Why isn't it on six? It's not working. It's not heating up. Okay, so the answer is I need to use a different saucepan, basically. What the hell is this? This is so small. Ah! So basically now we're gonna need our Rice Krispies. Um, let me move this so you can see me better. We, we, we need 120 grams and this is 440. So how am I even gonna measure this? Oh no. Yeah, there is no way, there's no easy way to do this. So 120 times three is 360 and 120 times 0 0.5 is 60. And if you add the two together, you get 420. Ah, no. Oh my gosh. I was not even looking. Oh no, I need to turn it down. It's on such a high heat. Why? Why is it so stressful? It's burning. I can smell burning. Oh no. Did I burn the mixture? Oh no. Right, so we need three and a half. We need the amount that times by three and a half makes the full thing. So one divided by three and a half is 0 0.3, something like that. <laughs> oh no, this is going so terribly. Okay, right. So we need this to go in here. Surely that's enough. Surely we don't need more than that. I mean, it does look kind of good, to be fair. I need to put the vol the volume up. The yeah, I need to put the volume up on the on the oven. You know what? This actually looks so so delicious. <laughs> uh, if we actually make something good out of this, I'm gonna be so impressed. I actually think we need more Rice Krispies, uh, and I'm only saying that because it's actually quite saucy right now. Um, it's like still very watery, so I think. The Gordon Ramsay in me is telling me to pour more of these in. Yeah, this is going well. I, I'm actually enjoying this. Like, yeah, subscribe, please. You know what? I'm going to add some more Rice Krispies. I'm going to be dangerous. I'm going to be dangerous. I'm going to be so dangerous. I'm always dangerous. Anything for my babies. Okay, I think that's enough. Um, honestly, like, it, it feels nice. Like, it, I... It tastes delicious. It actually... Wow. <laughs> okay, okay. So something that I've noticed is that it doesn't actually tell you how long it's supposed to set for. Like, I, I feel like a lot of these instructions and a lot of the ingredients are like very kind of open with how you do things. And I don't like that personally because like I, I am bad at making decisions. I am not very intuitive and I am very dumb. do is to fill up this with water and then you're gonna see it's gonna create steam okay it's gonna make steam and then that steam is gonna rise because heat rises thermodynamics I learned that about that like five years ago and because of and because of the heat the chocolate's gonna melt Cha ching Okay, I'm looking at it and I don't think we have enough chocolate. So I'm gonna actually, I'm actually like, I have an Easter egg that I got from work. Thank you, work. And um, I'm gonna use it. <laughs> it, it in there. It's a stupid idea, I know. Ah! What was going on? Oh, it's because... Oh my god, that's super hot. Disaster! <laughs> oh 
I'm so stupid. Okay, so essentially what's happening is it's bubbling. Who'd have thought? I think I may, I might have too much water. I don't really know. But like, we need it to not bubble, so I think it needs to, I think it just needs to go on a lower temperature probably. Um, and then hopefully it will just be normal. Um, what I have here are two bars uh, of Maltesers, or Maltesers teasers, uh, that are 35 grams each, so that adds up to 70 grams. With the extra 110, uh, that's 180 grams. So it's closer to 200 at least. Um, and I kind of wish I got the rabbit Maltesers, if you know what that is, because then it would have been FNAFI. Anyway, if you don't know what Maltesers are, because, you know, you live in the US or something, um, crazy people, then this is what it, this is what a Malteser is. You actually have like mini Maltesers, but then this is like a Malteser bar. Okay, there we go, focus. Um, and like it has some kind of um, like texture to it. So that's probably gonna add to it, uh, I assume. Um, so this would be nice to put in, I think. Uh, I planned it from the beginning. <laughs> Uh, I feel this is really unsafe. <laughs> the good thing is when I stir it, it's like it's melting properly, so at least it is actually kind of working. Oh yeah, that's actually that's actually really nice. Warning, do not think about poo. Okay, so I think that's good. Like I think I'm actually doing really well here, considering I am such a terrible cook. Like this is genuinely really good for me. Uh, and it's getting me into cooking, I think. I want to do this more, and I want to actually do all the recipes in the cookbook. So let me know if you like this video. Uh, and make sure you like the video, if you like the video. And make sure you subscribe. And let's get on to actually decorating the thing that we put in the fridge before. Okay, so the bowl is actually really warm. Um, so I'm kind of concerned about doing this. But it should be alright. It looks so appetizing. It actually looks similar to what was shown in the image, which I'm really like, I'm happy about because it means they're not false advertising. Um, okay, so this is my fear, right? Like I don't have enough chocolate and I don't think it's really gonna affect much apart from the fact that it's gonna look a little weird. Um, and I probably could have had longer to make this set because it is kind of coming apart a little bit But overall, it's kind of looking it's looking nice How do I chop like a massive heart? Oh, I can just pull them apart That wasn't supposed to rhyme. Just pull it apart And put it on the top. Oh Yes, this is actually looking good. Oops, I overdid it. Of course I did. You always overdo the sprinkles. Okay, that, I mean, that looks amazing though. That looks so good, just just as it is. Like, it's such a colorful, it's a beautiful recipe, really. It's, it's like really simple. I haven't tried it yet. It could taste disgusting, but like, it's really simple. <laughs> um, and it's probably a lot of sugar. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm super impressed with what I've done today. This genuinely looks amazing. So, we're gonna make it set. That was a really weird sentence. Anyway, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna make it set right now. Like, like right now. 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 So 
guess it looks very similar to how it looked before it set, but the difference is that it is actually really hard and, uh, well, I mean, that's what setting does, you know. <laughs> The one thing I will say is that the Rice Krispies actually do move a little bit still, so maybe I could have set it for a little bit longer, but honestly, it is actually 11 p.m. right now, so I kind of need to, <laughs> I kind of need to stop and then like go to bed. Anyway, um, so we need a knife. Where's where's the knife? We got this big boy. Call me Vanny. <laughs> um, and then. I don't really know how to do this. Oh, can you hear that crunch? Oh, that's a that's a really nice crunch. Oh, I actually didn't think it would be like crunchy. I know it sounds really weird, obviously like Rice Krispies, it's gonna be crunchy, but I didn't think it would have that nice crunch uh, to it. So I am really glad like this, it looks like it's a success. I'm actually really proud of myself for this. So with the ingredients that I had, I've been able to make, I'd say 16 good sized, um, you know, good sized portions, <laughs> if you will. Um, and I, I, I really wanna do this again and see if I can do it better and see if I can do it bigger. Maybe see if I can add some other ingredients to it as well, but this looks amazing. So it may look amazing, but how does it taste? That is the big question here. So I'm gonna take the uh, the piece that looks like the least appetizing because I wanna take loads of photos later. Um, so I guess I'm just gonna take, take one, okay. And it does come out really easily. Now, again, I need it to set a little bit more because it, it comes off quite easily. Like the actual Rice Krispies, but they taste good. So if you drop them, it doesn't matter. Anyway, here is my Foxy Plunder Bar. Pirate. <laughs> Foxy's Pirate Plunder Bars. Here we go. It's genuinely really good. I am really impressed with this, actually. It tastes really good. It's really simple. There aren't actually that many ingredients when you look at it. It is falling apart, by the way. Again, needed to set. But overall, it genuinely has quite a nice flavor and it looks really appetizing. Like, I could eat a lot of these <laughs> at once. No, they, they are quite, they're quite sweet. I think. And that's probably because of the maple syrup, I would say, and the peanut butter, and the chocolate, and the marshmallows. Amazing. It's a good recipe. Cookbook is good so far. I've only tried one recipe, but the dessert side is great. And Foxy, you have truly endorsed me with your pirate plunder bars. I want to just take a moment to say thank you so much for sticking around and watching the entire video. Um, if you enjoyed it, make sure you subscribe. I don't really know what else to say right now. Again, it's 11 o'clock, so kind of feeling tired. Uh, this did take a while to record, so I, I hope that you appreciate my dedication to this video. If you want to see more of this type of content, because I know it's very different, then make sure that you comment down below. Anyway, thank you for watching, and I'll see you later. Goodbye.